little bit of a departure from the norm tonight. The Symphony of the Americas learned about a week ago that the maestro had been awarded a sort of a lifetime achievement award for all of the work that he's done throughout the years of his career in education with students not only here but all over the world. And you'll know in a minute why we thought it's very fitting that the award be presented tonight. The award is from Music 4. It is an institution and an international institution that promotes musical activities all over the world. It organizes concerts, conferences, festivals, publishing, educational, and research activities. Musicians and professional experts in various areas work together for a common purpose. The Music Board headquarters is in Europe, Switzerland primarily, but in Italy, the UK, and France. And you will see on the screen some of the things over the years that Maestro has done and the students that he has touched with his work in education. Part of the activity of Music Board is addressed to the humanitarian sector, the funding and construction of music schools, the purchase of musical instruments and student scholarships, focusing on the less favored geographical areas in the world, Mozambique, Haiti, Angola, and South Africa, in a sort of a um, Dudamel kind of a sales system uh, program. Their funds are collected through donations, artistic events and partners, government entities, and the activity of their orchestras, the Mission Symphony Orchestra based in Rome, and the Mission Chamber Orchestra, which is a past symphony orchestra in residence here for Summer Fest. So, enriching our spirit through what they do, through art especially, they transform the individual, which in turn improves the social and cultural context that surround us. This is their mission, and as you might guess, now you're starting to understand why we thought this concert this evening is a part of Summer Fest would be a touching way to do this. Now I'd like to present Jim Goodhart, the Vice President of External Affairs for the Broward Center. Hello again, everyone. It's really a privilege for me to represent the Broward Center this evening. So on behalf of our entire staff and the team here, we're delighted to be part of this evening's event to honor and pay tribute to my sister, Rose Corsese. It's been a beautiful evening of music here at the Amish Charles Theater, which has been home to the Symphony of the Americas for more than 25 years. And tonight's Summer Fest concert is following some of the highlights of our summer season, and we bring out so many familiar faces to enjoy some music. Especially this year, when we've got musicians from more than 10 countries represented on our stage, and we have the beautiful music of our special pianist guest, Lorenzo Tursi Flores, who's representing that organization you just heard so much about, Music for. So the Americans, under the baton of our beloved Mexico Rose Crusade, has been a true creative force in our region. For decades, they have brought many talented artists to our stages and presented the best of classical performance to South Florida's audiences. They've also played the first concert ever to be performed here on the stage, and they've been one of our most valuable partners in the arts for more than two decades. But beyond the music, the symphony has played an important role in building positive relations around the world through music. Under my leadership, they have demonstrated an unwavering dedication to educating our youth through music. You're seeing so many images on the video of the crowd all tonight that probably speak louder than I can about the impact of their music. They truly reflect our diversity and our humanity. On our stage this year in the Amateur at the Odin Theater and at the Parker Playhouse, the Maestro has conducted hundreds of concerts, and importantly, he has brought music to thousands of students through our CS program. This collaborative partnership, known as Student Enrichment of the Arts, allows students from our county schools to experience music and the arts free of charge. What Maestro has been able to do is bring the music of classic composers, the music of Broadway scores, the music of movies, and also combine the contemporary dance ballet and even surf performances to inspire our youngest audiences. He's helped to nurture emerging talent and the voices and audiences of tomorrow. I've been here for so many of these performances, and I've seen the impact firsthand. So tonight, we're on our way 
high school not only for his music, but the many humanitarian and educational projects that he has inspired. It is my privilege to be on the stage to honor him. Maestro Brooks Crusade is known to your affection as the Maestro, and we appreciate his vision, his passion, and his love of the music, and we thank him for all the contributions that he has made to our South Florida community. Thanks for inviting me to be part of the ceremony, and I'd like to welcome Nick back to the stage. Lorenzo. Hi everybody. Good evening. Uh, so I will just say a long bit about it. I just improvised my speech. And it's very difficult after because I am done and my English is very bad. But I would like to just speak with my heart and my mind. Uh, music for this prize uh, three years two, three important people in the music world. Uh, we choose these big people uh, for how much they work, how much they uh, uh, put themselves in uh, their music activity. I met my school Jen Francis about 10 years ago, and uh, it was a, a, a long trip together, a, a, we, we did many, many things together around the music and uh, what he did is uh, incredible. I mean, also here tonight, if we are all here, it's thanks to him to, to help to, to, to build this building and uh, many, many different activities. Can you imagine your life without music? Can you imagine a film without sound, without music? It's nothing. So music is a... Uh, the soul of our life. That's why it's very important to promote, to develop, develop music around the world. So I am very proud to have you, Maestro, and give this a special hour for your career, what you did, what you are doing, and what you will do. Thank you very much. Thank you. 